YouTube, WG Revival, back with, uh, well this time with some ghoulies. It's another roll on the, the encounter table for Frostgrave, and thus a couple of Mantic Ghouls. This time, uh, rather than painting them up like adolescent vampires, I've painted them in good old fashioned, you were there in the 80s, ghoul grey. And uh, I don't much like these figures, but it's another one ticked, it's another... Uh, Another addition to the Frostgrave Menagerie. Now, as well as uh, filling in the um, encounters table, I'm also preparing to start Dark Alchemy, which is a campaign you can play solo. Don't have a Frostgrave opponent lined up just yet, so uh, solo plays the way. And one of your monsters in there, your principal one, well, it's basically this guy and a load of rats. Oh, this is the, the Horrible Mutant, and my Horrible Mutant is from Cyborg Miniatures, the C-I-B-O-R, which I think is the name of the sculptor. And, yeah, he's minging, really. He's got all this sort of flabby, horrible thing. He's got a big knife instead of an arm and a big blade instead of a foot there. Quite a strange chap. His mouth's all split open and just generally quite grim. And it was just a chance for me to do something just just nasty, nasty skin tones. So it's got all these boils everywhere. Oh, my spines on the show. <laughs> Let's not ignore that. It's a tiny detail. But really, I think the thing I want to do here is just paint somebody just looking quite sick. So I've got a lot of bruise colours going on there. So some red washes and purple washes and so on. And it's not come out brilliantly. But it was a nice practice at just doing something absolutely revolting. Quite, quite pleased with him. To finish off this update, I have a uh, bit more terrain. So this is a Norse-looking uh, sarcophagus thing. See, it's quite Norse-looking there. There's a few bits and bobs, but just just runes all over it. So a lot of dry brushing, really. But the nice thing is the lid comes off, and we have the dead chap inside. Ah, that's come out rather nicely. I think it's a nice change just to do a sort of non-bleached bone. So that guy's skull looks quite orangey there. And these are a bit more uh, sort of yellowy and pale. But I just thought it was a nice change. A uh, nice different way of painting someone's skeleton. I probably won't stick to that when I actually do paint skeletons for Frostgrave. But uh, I just thought it was a nice change. And uh, yeah, I quite enjoy painting that. It's a nice, uh, nice macabre subject. It'll also come in for this guy's uh, scenario, because there's him and a load of rats. The rats need somewhere to appear, so let's have them rather disgustingly popping out of, a, uh, of an open tomb. On that cheerful note, thanks for watching, and I'll speak to you soon.